Sensations, Diamond and Silk say that Facebook still hasn't informed them why it restricted their viral pro-Trump page. Without explanation, the networking giant stopped notifications to their millions of subscribers. It then later claimed that the content was, quote, unsafe before admitting behaving inappropriately. We have communicated directly with Diamond and Silk about this issue. The message they received last week was inaccurate and not reflective of the way we communicate with our community and the people who run pages on our platform. We have provided them with more information about our policies and the tools that are applicable to their page and look forward to the opportunity to speak with them. Yeah, Facebook still hasn't removed the restrictions, while Diamond and Silk insist that they still haven't received any explanation. The duo became an internet hit for their comments during the 2016 US presidential election, yet it's not the first time that they've been arbitrarily blocked online with YouTube demonetizing almost all of their videos last summer. And I'm pleased to say they're going to speak to the ladies in question now. Diamond and Silk, join me on the line. A pleasure to speak to you, ladies. Some great confusion here. Facebook in their statements saying they have communicated to you the reasons um, wh why you seem to have transgressed their regulations. And, and as I understand, though, you're saying that they haven't. What's going on? They have not communicated to, uh, with us. We have not talked to any representative from Facebook. We no have not talked to called. Mark Zuckerberg. That's right. We haven't received an email. So that the only communication we got was the other day when they said that they deemed our content and our brand, which is us, Diamond and Silk, uh -huh. unsafe to, to the, community. the community. Have you got any idea whatsoever why this is happening? Well, I have no idea. Well, you know what? Maybe it's because they are afraid that we are more conservative. We are black women. We support our president. We support his agenda. So maybe they are afraid of that, but they need to get unafraid, unafraid, and they need to make their platform where it's not discriminatory, where it is an even playing field on both sides of the aisle. That's right. What do you think about the media coverage of the way you've been treated? Has this kind of helped, do you think? Have you had a positive... Uh, support from the media forcing Facebook to address the issue? So far, I think we've had a positive um, outlook on this here. Yeah. The deal is we want Facebook to fix this here. We want Facebook to be fair. Stop silencing our voices. Stop um, 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 being biased. We have the First Amendment rights here, our freedom of our speech of being stifled, and that must stop. Initially, I understand there was talk of your content being labelled as unsafe. When you heard that, could you make any sense of it? Could you, could you understand what they were trying to talk about there? I didn't understand it. No. When he said that our content and our brand, brand is unsafe to the community, our brand is Diamond and Silk. Diamond and Silk is two black chicks that's down with politics. That's right. Not only that, we are conservative, we love our country, we love our president, that's okay? Right. So when they said that I was offended by it, we was appalled by it, we look at this as being censorship, discrimination, deformation of character, and even a violation of our civil rights. That's to right. deem two black women as if we are some type of animal hoodlums or somebody just out there just hanging out unsafe, right. that is appalling to me. Yes. So Facebook is going to have to answer to that. Why? What was the reason? Because we don't know. That's right. And we couldn't appeal it. They said that we could not appeal it and this was final. That's Do you right. see this as a worrying trend? There's been a lot of talk over the last year or so about, you know, fake news. Um, and people can talk about just about anything they like on Facebook, but it gets a bit tricky when it comes to politics. Uh, I mean, do you see this as a worrying direction? Well, I do, because first of all, Facebook is a big, huge entity, okay? And it's, it's an entity that people from around the world join Facebook. So we don't want to get into this here uh, 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 lane where you have one person dictating what people can see and what people can hear right. on this platform when they service millions around the world, not just in the United States, but millions around the world, because that's where it gets dangerous. That's right. Do not stifle or silence people's free speech. That's where it's dangerous at. You got to be balanced. And we know that they want to say that they are a private entity, but you are open to the public. That's and right. when you are open to the public, you cannot discriminate. I'm interested on how kind of bold you feel about this, because obviously Facebook's a huge platform and it, it gives you an opportunity to air your views. But if you feel that they've wronged you, um, to what extent do you take them on? Would you consider ditching them, going to other platforms, unless they change their ways? 
why should I? They need to fix their That's ways. Right. That's right. They put this here in place. Mm -hmm. Take those algorithms that you have on our pages off to thumb down our videos, to keep it where our millions of followers won't be able to view our videos or we don't come up in their news face. That's right. Take that stuff off of our page. Facebook is going to have to fix that. Why do we have to run? I'm not running anywhere. We're not running from I'm body. going to stand right here. When you write, you fight, you challenge. And that's what I'm doing. And I'm not talking about fist fighting. I'm talking about come to the table that's because right. this can be resolved. But Mark Zuckerberg, who is the owner of Facebook, is going to have to resolve this. That's right. Do you think this could take you in a new direction? Maybe you could become champions uh, uh, fighting censorship on the internet? Maybe. But I don't like people's voices being silenced. I, I don't like that's dangerous. That's dangerous. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. We don't live in that type of country. Everybody have a right to have a point of view, whether mm -hmm. you agree with it or not. And sometimes we're just going to have to agree to, to disagree. disagree. We're going to have to learn how to do that. I've got to ask you about Donald Trump. You're famous for making your comments about him. How do you assess his performance as president? He gets an A plus 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 plus. That's he right. is doing a phenomenal job. Phenomenal. And we love him. What about all the hostility, though? I mean, he seems, from judging from the other side of the world, it feels like he's been under fire since day one. Is he being treated fairly by the media and the public? Well, first of all, you have to stop looking at fake news. That's the number one thing, OK? Mm -hmm. Stop looking at that. Because um, fake news is the one that treats him unfairly. But the American people love him because he fights for the American people. That's right. He looks out for the American people. And by golly, that's why the American people love our president. Is he delivering on his, his promises? Is he trying to deliver? He is delivering. He is delivering. We got tax cuts. Unemployment is uh, all the way down. Home ownership is up. He cut regulations, so if you want to become an entrepreneur, you can. So we are doing phenomenal in our country, and we're so proud. Is there anything that you're unhappy with about Donald Trump as president, perhaps, he's, he's done that you wouldn't have liked? I love everything that he does. Everything. He's doing what we sent him to do. That's right. We voted for a businessman because we sent him up there because we wanted him to make America great again. Mm -hmm. And truly, that's what he's doing, making America great, great again. again. Can he survive, though? Because, like I said, he has been under constant attack. Now his, his lawyer is being questioned, constant calls for impeachment. Do you think he can actually last the full term? Listen, our president is going to do his eight years is what's going to happen, That's okay? Right. So all of this other stuff you're talking about, I don't want to hear all throw of that, okay? Yeah, just throw it out the window. Yes. The deal is, is that we voted for the businessman. That's right. Sixty-some million of us got out and rushed, marched to the polls, and we voted for him. That's right. And he's doing his job. He's doing what we sent him up there to do. And as we are based in Moscow, I'd like to ask you about relations with, with Russia, something that Donald Trump was keen to see improved. He said, you know, it would be great if Russia and America get along. It feels as though he's being opposed at every turn on that. Do you think that it's possible for the two countries to, to be on friendlier terms? I don't know. Who knows? Well, that was short. It was sweet. And it was very diplomatic, more diplomatic than some of the US diplomats, I must say, we've been listening to today. Ladies, I greatly appreciate your time. Some fascinating opinions there.